Good morning, children. Today I will be taking English grammar for class seven. We will be learning about this model of auxiliary that is chapter number four. Model of auxiliaries, or we call them as models. They are actually supporting verbs. Like you know, what is a regular verb? When I show this action, what am I doing? Eat. When it shows some particular action, we call it as a regular verb. Here, they do not have that action, but they are very important because a verb is a must in a sentence, and they support that one. They are called as the auxiliary verbs. In these model auxiliaries, there are ten numbers. Totally, there are seventeen. Uh, what do you call auxiliaries? In this model auxiliaries, are ten. They usually show the mood. What are the ten? Can. Could, may, might, shall, should, must, ought to, will, and would. These are the ten model auxiliaries. In that, we are going to see about two model auxiliaries. That is, can and may. Not month may. It is that uh, models. So there are ten. Like I told you, can, could, shall, should, may, might, will, would, must. And ought, ought. Whenever you write ought, we cannot write it like this. We usually add to. He ought to bring the book. So when it to comes, it will immediately change into participle. That is, we use the V1 form of the verb. I'll be explaining about that one in another class or in the school. So can and may. When do we um, use this one? Can and may, more or less, is the same. May is used to get permission. And here, another one is to show possibility. Here, same thing only. Can is also used to get permission for something. Then it is also used to show possibility, and it is used to show ability. So now, once you understand ability, possibility, permission, it's quite easy. See, so it is both same here. To get permission to show possibility. What is the meaning of possibility? Possibility means sometimes it will happen, sometimes it may not happen. We are not sure about it. When I say I will bring the book, that means whatever happens, I will bring you the book. I will give it to you. But uh, when I say I may bring the book, or when you say when you look outside and say it may rain, so what does it mean? It is just a possibility. Sometimes it may rain in the afternoon. Sometimes the wind will take away the clouds, and then there will be no rain. We are not telling surely. There is a chance. There is a possibility. So like that, it can be no worry at all. How do we show possibility? We can finish the work in two days. It may rain in the afternoon. Both are showing possibilities only. We can finish the work after two days or within two days. That means that we are not sure. There is a possibility. If we all work together, we can finish it in two days. And here also it is like that. It is a possibility, a chance. It may rain. We are not sure about it. It may rain in the afternoon. It may rain in the evening. And then if you come to this permission, So here we are getting permission. Can I come in? May I come in? Actually, earlier we were using only may I come in. Nowadays, can I come in is also used. So what is the difference between these two? This is informal used when you are talking among friends, like teachers. Though it is very formal, but daily you are seeing your teachers, so that they become more or less like friends. 
so you can just ask them can i come in sir can i come in madam and all but formally when you are talking you are entering the principal's office or you are going to the do's office or you are going to the dm's office that we have to be uh, formal so how do you are the may i come in may i get in so that's how we use it for permission can is used for informal and uh, may is used as a formal setup and the last one is for can only for may we don't have this can is basically used to show ability what do you mean by ability ability means able whether you are able to do something like for example i can swim for 12 hours so when you read that sentence you may think that i am a buffoon i can swim i will tell what is that you get tired after some time i can swim for 12 hours means what am i telling i have the ability to stay under water to stay afloat for swimming for continuously 12 hours i have that ability i can drive a benz car so what is the meaning car to maruti cars and van small cars most of them will drive so a benz car means it is something a foreign car it will have different apparatus setup and all those things so when you say i can drive a benz car what does it mean so i have the ability to drive the car so today we saw about these two basic models that we are using when you are getting permission when you are about to show possibility or can is used to show ability also whereas may is used to get permission and to show possibility most of the time when we show possibility we use may only it may rain today it may not rain today and when you use will it becomes sure it will rain today what does it mean today surely it will rain that is a difference there when you use it and getting permission formal the correct one is always may i come in sir may i clean your shoes may i go for a swim you are getting permission nowadays we say also uh, can i go for a swim when you are talking to your mother when you are getting permission from your mother father and all those things can i go for a swim because it is informal the formal one is may thank you very much have a nice day